Hello guys, I hope you all are well and uh, thank you for your time. Today the topic on which I will be talking is the memory leaks in Node.js. So in this talk we will uh, deep dive into the diagnostic and its solution to fix these uh, leaks. First of all, I would like to thank Conf42 platform to, to give me this great opportunity to talk on this most important topic in JavaScript. So let me start by introducing myself. So my name is Muhammad Yasser Rafiq and I am working as a Node.js backend developer at finding my facility. And I am also happy to share that I was a featured author on DZone with an article which was titled as JavaScript frameworks, the past, the present, and the future. I have, a, I have around four plus years of experience in JS and web backend development. So let's dive into our topic. What is memory leak? So here is a brief introduction, like the memory leak occurs when the, the program or function takes memory and keeps it, it if it's in no longer in use, which results to the degradation of the system performance. So in this topic, we will explore like what would cause the memory to leak uh, in this in the Node.js application and their impact on the system. So why memory leak memory leaks matter in Node.js? I would say the memory leak is is the memory leak matters in in every language if you are using python or c sharp or any other language memory leaks matters but why most matter in this node.js we will find it out as we all know that node.js relies on an event driven architecture the event driven Architecture includes some event loops and callbacks and functions, uh, which executes at, at the same time without blocking other functions, keys and objects. Due to this uh, feature, it becomes more more highly effective for input out for for input output heavy applications. So when we talk about event driven architecture, it mean it means that uh, there are so much uh, function execution happening on the same time at the back end. So due to which, uh, if they are not uh, properly handled, so the memory leaks uh, can cause server or our, appli or our application to crash, the response time becomes slow, and even sometimes the worst happen is application failure, when we, when we talk about the long running applications. So what are the symptoms of Memory leak, like how we identify that uh, if this certain problem is occurring again and again. So what is cause and will the cause be the memory leak or not? So there are some signs with the help of which we can identify this. So some common size signs includes the increasing memory usage with the passage of time, which includes the application performance slow and frequently garbage collection pauses. So with the help of the with the help of these signs we can identify uh, the leaks and with the help of this set of symptoms we can only identify this and we can maintain our application stability on time. So I will share some like real types real life applicable examples for this memory leak in production phase. So actually we were working, actually we as a team were working on a project where we found some memory leaks, like persistent memory leaks, leaks in the production phase in a high traffic Node.js application, like, like so much import output and processing at the backend, due to which our server restarts again and again. So we start building the problem that what causes the server to restart again and again. So when we track down the issues, so it, it involves some deep analysis of the application memory, usage, patterns, 
over the time. So at first, we were very confused that from which side we should start and we should start doing uh, debugging. Whether is this server issue or any function or any controller issue. So at the first, it was very messed up. After that, so it uh, so as I explained, it was a challenge for us to identify that what is the issue and from which point we should start debugging our leak or the issue on which we are facing it. With the help of the memory snapshots and profiling tools, our team was able to pinpoint the exact issue which causes the memory leaks. So I will explain further these like snapshots and profiling tools that how they work and how we can identify the issues like memory leak inside our Node.js application. Uh, there are a few common mistakes which causes the memory to leak in Node.js Node applications. So these leaks uh, can arise from unintentional global variables assignment, which is a very common mistake from like from the beginner developers and some improper closures or written process in email cluster or callback. I will explain like what are the the closures are the function which retain the reference of a variable from an outer function and it keeps with it until the, the function execution complete. But uh, sometimes these closures are not properly handled due to which these those variables are stayed inside the memory for a long time due to which it, it like overloads the memory and uh, some event listeners and callbacks these if they are not properly handled or optimized so these these will cause the memory to leak okay so there are some tools with the help of which we can identify these leaks first of all i will explain the uh, using chrome dev tools for memory profiling so chrome dev tool is a tool uh, like is a powerful memory profiling tool to capture snapshots, compare heap allocation, and identify memory leaks. So what are like snapshots? So snapshots are the time frames where we can check the state of the app at any specific point. Like uh, we can check the snapshot of the application before executing the, the function and after that as well, with the help of which we can identify the memory usage of the app before the execution and after the execution of the certain functions or objects. With the help of this, we can identify the and analyze if there are memory leaks and high memory usage in Node.js applications. Okay, there is an inbuilt tool for Node.js, which is called like inspect flag. Like it is like this tool helps in the debugging in uh, like this is a debugging tool which helps to identify any leak and how to use this built-in feature to track down memory leaks and some inefficient memory usage so we can also track track memory leaks if if we are encountering any extensive memory usage inside our app or after the execution of certain uh, functions then we can use this inspect tool to identify certain issues. Okay, so heap snapshot. As as I mentioned earlier, the heap snapshots provide a detailed view of the memory allocation in your application. With the help of snapshots, we can record the snaps of, of our application at different intervals. So we can analyze the memory usage before the execution of certain tasks and after the execution of those tasks. So with the help of which we can identify like which object or function is taking more memory and which and after the execution of which function the memory leak, leak occurs. Okay, the memory leak also occurs when objects that should be garbage collected or were remain in the memory. The after the execution of the functions, so there might be some 
variables or objects which are kept inside inside the memory and they are like no longer uh, in use so this also cause the memory to leak so it is also important to track those uh, certain objects and the event listeners which we are using so af after the execution they like they kept alive inside the memory like which results the memory to or real life solution so actually i was working on a project recently and i like identify after the implementation of few uh, functions and some event listeners that the execution of like after the execution of those processes and functions the response was getting slow time to time then so after that i analyzed few uh, functions and few event listeners due to which i was able to identify that there is after the executions of few functions so the, the solution was uh, so simple the issue was the like there was such an event listener inside my functions and inside my apps which kept which used to keep the references of an unused objects due to which the memory gets full and the execution and it takes a lot of time to go to execute those functions so the uh, it was hard to identify the, the issue at first but once when it was identified the solution was simple to make those event listener to optimize and to remove those listeners once they are executed or finished their execution and ensure that the proper cleanup should be done after each execution so now i will uh, explain uh, about the garbage collection the garbage collection like works it, in a way it is a, an v8 engine garbage collector within node.js once uh, the execution is like the execution of the certain functions and objects are done so then it so that it collects those unused uh, objects and an event listeners which are kept inside inside the memory so it so the garbage collector frees up those memory which no longer in in use uh, this helps to avoid the memory leaks in our application okay so uh, using clinic.js it is it is a powerful diagnostic tool in, uh, specifically designed for not just applications so it helps to identify any memory leak at certain points and the uh, and if there are any cpu bottlenecks and those queries which are taking time for execution so it also so it helps to identify those issues as well so it's better that we should know that how to use these tools efficiently because once we know how to use these tools it will be very easy to identify memory leaks at the early early stage like in the development stage before going into your production phase monitoring tools for memory users uh previously i have defined some tools which we can use those uh, manually at certain points but uh, there are some monitoring tools if we use them to analyze our memory usage at this like from the start to the end of our application so these tools like help to monitor at each stage like like at what stage the memory is going high and at what stage the memory is going low so the tools like new relic and datadog they offer some real time monitoring of of the memory usage in production and environment so we can use these tools specifically if our apps are live so we can check the memory usage after the execution of certain features inside our app so with the help of these tools we can proactively identify memory leaks before they they become too big so there are some best practices and tips i will share with you with the help of which we can prevent these leaks in our application for instance like avoid using global variables as they are kept in our 
memory throughout our application lifecycle. And the other best examples, sorry, and the other best uh, practice or tip you can say to ensure that the event listeners which we are using inside our app are properly handled and removed when they are no longer needed, especially in those apps which are like long running apps. So these uh, tips might help you to identify and remove the end memory leak up to uh, 90% for your purchase application. Okay, the other thing is like optimizing the event listeners and closures. So as so as I mentioned mentioned it earlier that the that due to the event uh, after the execution of event listener, those event listeners like uh, and closures have their variables and even and event listeners are there inside our memory for a long time due to which the memory leak occurs. So these are the major sources of memory leaks, I believe, if they are not probably the properly handled. So by optimizing these uh, these elements, we can handle our memory usage quite efficiently. Okay, so there is one method inside our uh, Node.js, which is called process dot memory usage. So this method is a built-in built -in method for Node.js, uh, which helps to well, monitor heap and RSS memory. So the RSS memory here is known as precedent set size, uh, which keeps the footprint of, of the application, that how application is behaving uh, like before the execution of the function of certain feature and after the execution of certain feature, the execution of queries or like uh, taking data, updating request or getting the response from the uh, DB. We can say these are the footprints of the applications. Um, with the help of this, uh, the execution of this method, we can check the logs and we can track like any memory growth and identify any issue if, if, if any function is causing the memory to leak. So we can identify them before they can get escalate. Okay, I believe that it would be a challenge to detect any memory leak in our real time systems. Like I believe that it is a challenge when dealing with some memory leaks with the real time systems as they have some continuous operation going going on all the time. We can avoid them by doing some well defined infrastructure of the system, like writing a clean and nice code and like using the tools after using the diagnostic tools uh, after the execution after the execution of certain functions and objects uh, so this thing will lead it to reduce any memory leak inside within our real time system so i would say the future proofing not just applications we can protect them by by building the application in a in an defined infrastructure defining defining functions uh, efficiently and uh, optimizing our uh, event listeners and our uh, closures as well and avoid using global variables so with the help of these things we can avoid memory leak and also these things help in the scaling up our not just very easily and efficiently as well so what is the the conclusion of this uh, talk is that the memory leak can be a significant impact on our performance, but with the help of the right tools and right techniques and tips, we can identify them and fix them efficiently and on time as well. Sorry. So this presentation covers some real life examples and some tools and some best tips to help to tame these memory leaks in Node.js. So thank you for your time. Thank you.